Disgusting. So like my family's been here since like the first dumb people came over from where you're from. Whoa. Like in a barrel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like they were brought over because they like, Just you like know, a, a horse to death and now they had to flee. Hi everyone. We're about to start another episode of the Call Them Tiro podcast. Thank you for uh, tuning in every week. God, you guys are the best audience in the world. Anyway, let me sell some shit to you. Um, Listen, t- Sam Talent's on the show. Make sure you buy his book if you haven't got it already. It's called Running the Light, forward by Kyle Kinane. Remember the guy who used to do voices for Comedy Central? Um, one of the best comedians in the country. So is Sam Talent, so funny. Um, there's an audio version of the book that uh, some of the biggest names in comedy all voiced different characters. Burt Kreischer, and it gets... Cons- considerably lower as you go on from Burt Kreischer. So I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. But by the book, Sam Down is the best. He's so f- funny. And um, he's really been crushing. He's been a road dog for years. And uh, he really makes me f- laugh. He's a, and he's a good, he's a good boozer. He's not like his, the crowds that he kind of runs in, I think traditionally kind of that artsy fartsy, you know, tattooed women crowd. Um, the blue haired witches. No, um, you know, the, all those kind of cooks, um, but Sam's actually fun and he'll let you say slurs if off camera. So, you know, he's a fun dude. Go check out Sam Talent um, and go see him live. You, I promise you, you'll have a fun event. Um, so now that I'm finished sucking his D. Thank you. You're welcome. I've got dates. I've got loads of dates. Collie touring the world right now. Um, and by world, I mean like the north of North America. Um off my phone's ringing all right so we got dates by the way so every tuesday night i've got a new weekly show um, a bar show it's free it's in new york city we're gonna do a test run of two months it's um every tuesday night at 9 p.m at downtown social which is um in the lower east side myself and lil sasquatch from barstool sports harry something and we're going to be running that. It's absolutely free. You can reserve your tickets on at eventbrite.com. Head off to columntyrell.com and you can get those tickets. So it's going to be free. It's like a workout room. It's a tiny little spot, but it's going to be packed. And obviously all people that I know, friends of mine, such as uh, Dave Chappelle and stuff are going to drop in. But more likely people like Dan Soda, Shane Gillis, they will be there working out stuff. Um, everyone's going to be getting drunk. So get those tickets. called Tuesday Night Comedy at Downtown Social. Now, I'm on the road. I'm going to be in uh, Southbury, Connecticut, April 22nd. Um, Then I'm doing two nights in Pennsylvania. Uh, No, then I'm headlining Pittsburgh Improv. I was out there opening for Ari recently. They invited me back May 14th, headlining Pittsburgh Improv. Come out for that because that's a big-ass room. So I I will need you to bring some friends, please. It will be embarrassing. Um, Soul Joes, um, June 2nd, June 3rd. That's Pottstown, PA and Oxford, PA. Then Midnight Circus 2. We are back at the stand. Bigger, better, weirder. This time it's personal. July 15th. Rosemount, Illinois. 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 August 4th and 5th. Houston, Texas. Austin, 20, uh, Houston, Texas. August 25th and 26th. Boston, Massachusetts. September 14th through 16th. Um, Plano, Texas, November 9th to 11th. And then I'm also in Wisconsin at some point that uh, is going to be in October, Wisconsin. I don't know. The, the website hasn't updated. Janesville, Wisconsin, October 20th and 21st. So get your tickets to that. All tickets are available at columntyrell.com. Come see me live. I've got stickers that I will sell you at the show. Um, anyway, so that's it. That's the intro. I hope you watched all that shit. Do buy tickets. Let me know if you want me to come to your city. Leave a little comment in the thingy below. Um, and here you go. Here's the great Sam Talent. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Talent. Come on, put your hands hey, together. Hey, guys. Listen. Can we, get the, can we get the soundboard on here, please? So that... The whole point of wearing the cans is to the soundboard. This is crazy. <laughs> now I get the can. That's why you got to have the can. Plus, we got a TV. No other podcast studio has a TV. No, everyone else is barren. It oh. looks scraped out like a bunch of tinkers have been in there. <laughs> bleep, can you bleep that scrape there? Um, yeah. You have a soundboard that rules. Yeah, it's the best. If, yeah, if you want to hit it at any time, you can. Just no, no, I, I don't, I'm a guest here. <laughs> it's like when you say, help yourself out in the fridge. You go, yeah. I'd rather die of thirst uh-huh, yeah. than hit another man's soundboard. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to touch any of your buttons. <laughs>
<laughs> that would be funny if I walked in. It's like, has someone been using my soundboard? <laughs> yeah, you do fingerprint analysis on there. Check out this one. Mine are all greasy. Look at that big ass. Look at that big juicy booty. Whoa. Oh, you know what that is? Uh, I, I know what a big juicy booty is. Oh, you do? Yeah. When did you ever, when was the first memory of a big juicy booty? Uh, you know what it was? Yeah. There was a movie called Valley Girl starring Nicolas Cage. Okay. And uh, no one saw it, but I saw exactly seven minutes of it probably 150 times. Oh, nice. Because there was a lady who had like really soft pink nipples and she was laying on a bed. Can you get and, that get that on the screen? Oh, for sure. dude, if you can find the Valley Girl nude scene, I'm gonna need absolutely. Mr. Minutes. Skin, we have a membership to Mr. Skin. It's a text write off. Yeah, dude, and it's like <laughs> they're like they're perfect, like soft breasts, and they kind of like fall to the side. Yeah, and then she has a big old ass when she like flees the room. Oh my God! Hold on. Look at those perfect pink nipples, dude. <laughs> Christ wow. on the f***ing risen cross. Yes. Yes. Who's this woman? Who's no this idea. Woman? Couldn't tell you what happens in the movie. This is like 12 minutes into the film, probably. Yeah. But yeah, You dude. just remember these luscious boobs. I remember them so well, dude. In a, yeah. Yep. It, Very dude, big deal. Your first time experience all this stuff, there is like a nostalgia to that, like, innocence. And it's like probably blew your mind, like Bro. short circuit. Like, you couldn't react. Like Right I remember now. It's like ancient wiring reconnected yeah. right now. In my deepest part of my reptile brain. Just a nostalgia pair of boobs. Dude, man. that is perfect. Yeah, that was a big deal. This is what we always, we always get the guests bricked that's... up and then we ask them, we ask them honest questions like, So whatever, whatever this filth is that's on the screen right now, that's not from the movie. No. All I, right? I, I would know if that was in the now movie. Now we're just scrolling through random women. Dude, if that <laughs> was in the movie and I didn't get that far in because I already came, I'm going to be pissed. So many good years of fluffing. Oh, dude. Yeah, my dad had this on VHS. He had this and the unbearable lightness of being. And those were like the only tapes. Well, this was for children in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, dude. Well, yeah, we used to, we used to, the, the VHS, the videos, and my parents would just let me watch whatever. But mm -hmm. it was like, all the videos were like, she was like, just watch whatever video. Yeah, and they like, were busy tricking the priest or whatever they were up to. <laughs> they, were just, <laughs> they were ripping copperware out of the church <laughs> to get a couple more scoops. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, edit that out. We're editing this out. Yeah. No making fun of me. Uh, <laughs> but they would just hand you like videos and I either watch Pocahontas or I'd watch like some slasher movie that yeah. would just horrify my four-year-old brain. Dude, Child's Play me up i don't know that one that was uh chucky you know, a little doll oh yeah possessed. chucky yeah yeah yeah. i yeah. thought it was called child's play i originally. thought it was called chucky until probably three years ago <laughs> yeah but dude child's play dog yeah and it's like when you think about it you could just hit him with a broom you know what i mean yeah he's yeah. this big oh i'd f yeah I'd i would f up chucky now chucky would yeah yeah i don't think i could lose to chucky little no. ginger just put him in the sun. Right. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> just a ginger the whole time. You just stand by the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Child's Play was very scary, and I don't know why. I used to shut my eyes when I would scan by you. You guys remember USA Network? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, it would always have, like, Child's Play or Baywatch on. So I would, like, go to it before they had the TV guide and be like, all right, this is either going to be awesome or horrifying. I'd open my eyes, and it would be, like, Baywatch, and I'd be like, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You just did like, like a little natural chat roulette type of exactly. scenario. Yeah, exactly. So it's either going to be boobs uh -huh. or, or murder. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sick, actually. Mm -hmm. That's That'd be nice, actually. Just more more roulette style of living because, you know, so much of your life is spent like, what movie should we watch? What should we order? Whatever. Yeah. Just hit lucky dip and send me, you know, send me some dumplings and a comedy movie. Dude, I couldn't agree more. There's so much time is wasted in my wife's like few moments she has of like chill time after work. Yeah. Being like, what are we going to watch? Yeah, you know, and it's like a half hour goes by, and then it's like now we can't watch this two hour movie, so now we have to watch a ninety minute movie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You, know? you just went, you were you were in you were just in Asia, right? I was in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right do you here, recognize dude. this? Huh? Oh yeah. Uh huh. Do you recognize anything? You know what's under here? Should... A surprise. Yeah, blurred <laughs> out. Back blurred. Back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, a really hairy, but yet blurred. <laughs> yeah, very descriptively blurred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I wonder what that patch of fur is <laughs> <laughs> that pixelated thatch that's down there i'll what, never know what is the blur what is the blur in it is it, know, is it illegal in japan to show yeah bits? so penetrative sex is like heavily prohibited but there's like parlors and off parlors you can just pay like 40 american dollars and go get sucked off any time of the day in japan and it's totally not, fine. Not, not unlike everywhere in New York, I guess. So I don't know. I don't know about the, the dirty secrets of New York. Me neither. Fonzie on the ones and twos. Tell us about these blowjob huts in, the, in, in Chinatown. 
What, out in New York City? Yeah. I've only been to the ones in Philly. Oh, you really? The Wishy Washies. The Wishy Washies? Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. that. I like that. I've heard that, of these. That's a nice yeah. way of like. Um, that's it's a whimsical like, name for a like, slave it's parlor. Like, yeah, it's like Chrissy, <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris DeStefano. Little you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was probably con- concocted so you could like tell your wife. You're like, I was at the wishy washy. The wishy washy. Like, oh, that sounds that sounds pleasant. It does. The rub and tug rather <laughs> yeah. than the um the trafficked yeah, exactly. minority. Yeah. I went but- to a place where the passports were stolen. <laughs> <laughs> And then they perform sex acts <laughs> upon me. That doesn't have the ring to it. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're slaves, but indentured servitude for sure. Yeah, yeah, for they're sure. working something off. They have to pay back the plane ticket. They're not there because they love twenty dollars. No, no, they're there because <laughs> they heard twenty dollars once when they were a child, yeah. and that it would change not just their family, but their family's family's friends. They were promised forever. a modeling contract yeah. for sure, and next thing you know, they're they're wanking off mm-hmm. gross men. Yeah, that's big in Japan too. Wanking off gross men. Well, of course, mm. you've seen Japanese. Men? <laughs> yeah yeah they're always like they worked like 18 hours and now they have to go get blackout drunk with their boss or else they'll be fired so yeah. i just imagine the smells that come out of like a, a salary man's pores <laughs> it's like fear <laughs> it's like hierarchical pressure yeah and then it's just the worst sake in the world yeah it's just uh, he has this red face from sake yeah 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 Although i don't think I, I never considered japanese people to be gross really no no i just think that like if you peel off that a, a suit mo- yeah, oh yeah like i bet it reeks under there yeah, I hope he's covered. You better, you better be covered in tattoos from neck to bottom too. You can't be. You, only if you're in the uh, yakuza. The yakuza. Oh, oh, is that how you say it? Yeah, I think so. One Whenever you do the voice over there, you like you have to be, walk, walk into a place and be like, "Eragadogozaimas," you know. Like that's like how you say like thank you very much. Yeah. But it sounds like you're doing a racist voice. You gotta go da da la. No. You gotta go la da da. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you go to Ireland, you gotta go. Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Doodly diddly fiddly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm a let. I allow anyone to do an Irish accent. Oh, that's very big of you. Of course. I'm a nice guy. I'm a pretty- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's nice of whatever. You guys have a president or whatever. Yeah, we got a president and a Taoiseach. Taoiseach, which is a prime minister. It's the is Irish. that the guy with the dog? The guy with the dog is the president. Everyone loves him. He's the man. He's, he's beloved. He's four foot one. <laughs> um, he sleeps in a hollowed out tree. Yeah. Him and the dog are legally married, but no one knows. Yeah. Oh, he's the, he's the, yeah, the dog picks him up by the collar and runs off with him. Yeah, he rides on his back. <laughs> there he is, little Michael D. Higgins. He's a hobbit. You know? Dude, he's the coolest. Yeah, there's no way he's, if, <laughs> if you did his ancestry DNA... He rides that horse like a he rides that dog like a horse. <laughs> yes, for yes. sure. <laughs> but he's like this nice little sweet man. But the president isn't a real role. That's just a diplomat or, or like a figurehead or something that just he just like shows up and shakes hands at things. Right. And goes to sporting events. He doesn't have any the the, the Prime Minister, which is T shock in Irish. He T shock. T shock, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um he does actually all this stuff. Oh there he is. That uh, he's a cunt. Flat, of course flat, he's a probably. cunt. Look at him. He's an like Indian gay man. I was going to say, that guy's not Irish. Yeah, that's what I said. From you know? I, that's my what understanding. <laughs> you, fit, you, you fit right in with the boys. <laughs> he wouldn't get our road either, my friend. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, man. Ireland get, rules. Being gay, I can live with, but the Indian. The ooh. gay thing's great. I, yeah, that is yeah. that is Irish. That's it, very Irish. Everyone's singing songs over there and clapping all the time. But it's also funny, like, because he just goes to, like, Ireland's such a weird, small place that, like, there's, like, a video of him, like, at a gay bar just tonguing some fucking young gay guy like he's just he's just out like yeah. on a weekend like on, like he clocks out the, yeah. the president the, the official president of Ireland clocks out he's like I did my 40 hours and yeah. then he's just wanking off boys time for a lad's crawl yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever fucking weird yeah. shit you guys like, say <laughs> That is, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> a wee bit of lad time. <laughs> <laughs> a lad crawl for sure. Wait, what's this? What's uh? You know Sean Finnerty? Of course. So he, the show. he's always posting uh, him with a beer, and he'll say a couple of scoops. Oh yeah, scoops. What's a scoop? Like a scoop of beer. A scoop. Oh. A drink. Okay. Man. A few scoops, man. Okay. Well, so that's like, just like a pint or a beer. Just a, any sort of. Let's get a scoop. It's not an official measurement for sure, but no it's. No shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. This scoop isn't the official millimeters of the queen. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not a metric unit. <laughs> no, but okay. scoops, yeah, a few scoops. Scoops um, is cool. I want to start saying scoops. I would imagine that probably originated with the old way of making Guinness, which used to be just they would scoop it from a barrel. Oh, sick. So before they had draft, Bro. they just had. 
barrels and then you would Bro. have that's how they had two and this could all be nonsense too but they had two barrels you mean irish history yeah yeah <laughs> it oh, could uh, be anything related to alcohol as this like oh no it was you had to drink alcohol to survive <laughs> right you yeah know, um, so we get iron for our babies <laughs> exactly all that type of nonsense uh-huh. for years and they had two bu- two barrels and they would scoop one of them and then when it got to lower it got too low it would be all foam so then they would make two Barrels, so you'd have the first half of it from one barrel, the okay. second half from another barrel, and that's where it came that two step pour. Oh, that's wow, that's from of Guinness. That's what they say. I but love yeah, that. Dude. I like it, sure. Whatever. I'm, Bro, I'm, Guinness? Drink, I'm drinking it anyway. Bro, you're a Guinness guy. Fuck me. <laughs> you love I, Guinness? I always thought that like a Guinness was like, okay, I'm gonna have a bunch of light beers and then to end the night, a Guinness because it's so heavy. Oh, no, Fuck no, dude. No, it's the lightest. You can drink a million Guinness yes. and you're fine. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it, it, it's less than like a Bud Light, dude. It's, like, it's, it's yeah, less ABV, it's yeah. like 130 or calories or whatever. Yeah. Dude. Well, the whole idea with Ireland is just we like to drink so much that they right. just, they've made it so that it's like that's you what you told have, me in Vegas. You can have twenty eight of these, uh-huh, and you're yeah. fine. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Uh-huh, and you can go to the turtle farm or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, only on weekends. You know? um, <laughs> yeah, that's where the PM hangs out. <laughs> that's where that's where the ripest lads are. <laughs> <laughs> on the boys, there's a video. There's a photo of him just hanging out in the park drinking drinking cans with his friends. Isn't that crazy? It's a big part of the culture there, dude. Of course. Do you think that was a and, staged and it, photo? No. No. There's like loads of videos of him just out and about just doing stupid shit. He's just like, he's just doing Molly in a park. On awesome. His, with his friends. And I don't know any of these photos. This Dude, is, so the, there's an Australian guy. It's not a guy. problem with PM. It's not going to come up because PM is the English translation for yeah. whatever. But it's you not, fucking imperialist pig. Fuck's sake. You nationalist. You Finian. F- Fonzie's, all, Fonzie's all right. Fonzie's never been north of 38th Street. <laughs> he, he literally, he, he, he goes from, he gets a train from Delco to here. Um, and then he just like walks around ready to stab someone. <laughs> you hopped the York. train here? Yeah, from Jersey. Okay. Man, yeah, from you're shipping Jersey. in your trash, huh? Yeah, it's the, the only it's the only rate I can afford. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Gardini wants a hundred k a year. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you know about the Australian Prime Minister? This guy, hockey. The current guy? No, no. So he was like beloved, and he gave everyone the day off after they won the big boat race. Oh. They won some big boat race, and he's like, if you make, if you expect your workers to work tomorrow. You're a bad Australian or whatever. Nice. So now people, he's like an old, like, you know, yeah. demented man. But people will see him at, like, soccer matches or whatever. And they'll go up to him and be like, Oi, okay, skull it. And he'll have to have, like, yeah. a whole beer. And wherever he is, he just has to chug his beer. Uh, skull it, okay, skull it. And they'll go, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. So he's just, like, constantly, like, blackout yeah. drunk by three. He had he had the world record or something for a skull and a beer or something at one point. <laughs> yeah, I, I dude. do. One man in a bob hawk sculling beers. <laughs> that man was in charge of a continent. I know. Australia's <laughs> the funniest just. Yeah. <laughs> He's, they're the worst whites. <laughs> yeah, he, I do remember he had like some sort of record for his fucking school. Yeah, look at him, and that's what he ran on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. His opposition would be bringing up like taxes and immigration, uh-huh. and he'd be like, "Okay, okay, okay." <laughs> <laughs> look at him there, seventy-three years old, and there's a bunch of people of all different races and creeds surrounding, right, clapping him on. Look at yeah. him go, that's- boy. Okay, skull it. <laughs> everything, everything about Australia is is just like it's like a frat party you just found an island and then it's like years later we're still dealing with the repercussions just, and now they're the 12th largest yeah. economy in the world <laughs> they just their sports have no rules it's just no. a bunch of guys kicking the shit out of each other <laughs> it's just like if 12 year olds were allowed to make a country it's grab ass it's weak beers yeah. it's the worst food you've ever had it's just meat pies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible food. What a fucking made yeah. up place. Vermin. They're vermin. They're, the, the, yeah. the kangaroos are just like rats that they're have big overgrown. rats that they fight. <laughs> they like put hats on them and <laughs> make them rumble. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll see you in August, Australia. <laughs> nah, but, oh, are you going? Yeah. Where dude. are you going? Go Brisbane? All over, dude. Oh, wow. My, bro- yeah. my brother lives in Brisbane. Oh, like, really? Never, yeah, I'm never... doing Brisbane for sure. Oh, nice. I'll. Mm-hmm. I'll is it a midweek, week weekend? I'll get- I don't know, dude. Hook him up. He's- I have an Australian in charge of booking it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, my, so my brother. So in Australia, right? They're traditionally racist, but I don't know if uh-huh. that means right. Yeah. Wait, who they is? don't admit it. Yeah, well, they do keep a, 
boats of immigrants just like ashore. Yeah. And they want to look down on us here in America. They let you in. Well, you know what I mean. I I I I finagled the system. I'm just saying, those Australians were so eager to be like, oh, bit of a bit of a little thunder fuck. You've got whatever they say. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you got your finger in a lot of kettles and it's on scald. You know, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, sorry, we let people in. <laughs> We've let a bunch of people in and we let them like all hang out. You know, we have black people. Sorry, Australia. Yeah. You fucking yeah. judgmental pricks. They had black people. Um, they had them. I know. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Uh, so, but my brother went over there, and when you're working over there, <laughs> and this is a thing about a lot of Irish people, when you're in your 20s, you and you're, as long as you have some sort of qualification, you can go to Australia for a year or two. They offer anyone that's in the fucking Commonwealth, I guess. I, although I don't know, I don't even think Ireland's in that. But whatever. no, you guys like fight your way out of that shit. Yeah, but EU is the same. Right. I don't know whatever c- the connection they have. But once you're over there, and once you've lived there, and you've worked hard, they'll offer you like citizenship. But mm-hmm. you not you have to pass an English exam ah. to be to stay in the country. Yeah. So all these Irish plumbers and stuff, <laughs> they keep failing the English exam. No, I dude. S- <laughs> promise you. I promise you. There was a few years of me meeting people who are home from Australia. I'm like, oh, what happened? He goes, the fucking English exam, man. No. They, yeah, they all, they hire <laughs> tutors. It's to keep out people from China and stuff mm-hmm. and not English speaking people. Right. And they fail it because they just, all these guys who are good, like carpenters and stuff, they never fucking focus in school, never give a fuck. No, and no. then suddenly there's all these like. You're too busy you, flipping coins, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> smoking filthyless cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> just doing that thing with the knife. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <if> that was, <laughs> Mumbly peg. Yeah. <laughs> If that if that was the test, yeah. they'd all be in. Oh, no yeah. problem. Just a guy. With it's so oh, funny. Shit. The Irish are too dumb I to swear. fail and the dumbest continent. Yeah, <laughs> they're I English, swear. and they all get sent home and all that type of stuff. And then, uh, yeah, my brother did the. Exam. I bet they. I bet they don't take that out on their wives. It's the uh, when they get sent home, I bet. I bet they don't come home fired up. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. A, know. a little Dublin two step, you know. <laughs> a cork kiss. A little, yeah, yeah. A little. A little. <laughs> it's an open handed <laughs> face smush. Yeah, it's a cork kiss. A little Gal- Galway, I missed you. You yeah. know, for sure. Absolutely. I get Galway, it. Galway, I'm going away for three to five. Because <laughs> you told. And when I get out, no, it's going to be problems. No, you don't get you don't get much, but it. But like a couple of people don't follow you. It's like a DUI in Nevada. It's, yeah. it's like everybody has a couple of these. Yeah, exactly. Everybody exactly. comes home after a few scoops and tunes up their old lady. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was I wonder. Maybe I was invisible to it, but my dad was a real pussy. He never he never swung. Oh, so he was a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, <up. laughs> yeah. I left as soon as I could. Right. He brought shame on the family. He spit on his grave. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you fled to here. <laughs> Your brother cheated on an English test in Australia. He's in Brisbane learning to surf. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't, I don't know how many how much of that stereotype is true. I, I don't I'm sure it's I don't a know, terrible thing to say. I don't know if it's an Irish American thing or whatever. Because yeah. I think American women are lippy, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're That's, allowed to talk here. It's crazy. Well, they're all over there. Just always sweeping a stoop and looking they're, wistful. They're all, yeah, <laughs> they're always rationing out a stew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. yeah. <laughs> they're figuring out how to make bread out of brick mortar. <laughs> <laughs> the worst bread in the oh, world. Oh, you, saw, you want some mud soup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, we made salt potatoes, but we're out of potatoes. <laughs> it's just salt. <laughs> it's so funny. Hey, don't eat all. Don't eat all your mud. Yeah. Come on now. What are you gonna have for? birthday dessert yeah, can, I, can i get more mud mama? shut no. up your brother your brother and your sister need some mud <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's so funny did you watch um belfast did you watch that movie yeah of course you know what movie let me oh, ask you this please. yeah fuck my question the commitments Whatever. oh yeah of course dude yeah. commitment was awesome big deal in my house we watched oh, the commitments a shitload uh, love that movie growing up or now you mean no no uh, growing up oh yeah it was yeah, like one of the ones great. we'd put on as a family. Sally. yeah dude yeah that guy, uh, who uh, that big red faced man who stars in the commitments, yes, what a fucking legend, dude. Yeah, do you know how he got cast in the role? No, but so he he in that movie he's like young. Yeah, he's like a teenager. Yeah, in that movie, and that surprises me, but that's uh, good to know. Yeah, he was a teenager in the commitments, and they were he wasn't originally in it, or it was like his mother was a part of the sh- movie, and yeah. he was like on set. And then they did like karaoke and he got up there and just ripped them a new one. Really? He was black. He was drunk as fuck, 15. Oh, and yeah. he goes, Rah! And, and they were like, yo, you're in the movie. Yeah. Like he had nothing to do with anything. Yeah, this movie was like. That's Andrew Strong is the guy's name. That's him today. 
So he was in the commitments originally mm-hmm. with his long hair. And that's he, and he's like 15. But that's a, that's, that's the whole trilogy. The, yeah. the, um, One's the Van trilogy, the right? Van, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you got uh, The Snapper. The Snapper, yeah. Those yeah. books are good, too. Yeah, that guy's Roddy Doyle is that guy's name. Dude, Roddy Doyle. Roddy Doyle, great. But Respect. People, I, I don't think people like him anymore because he has he's gone, he's gone to. Uh... They find out he's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, pass. Roddy Doyle. <laughs> yeah. Mama mia. Like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, 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 maybe I'm wrong, but I think people don't like him because he's like conservative or something. Yeah. He looks like the Irish Scott Adams. Yeah, he yeah, does, yeah, Dilbert. Yeah. Got, yeah, he's 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 Dilbert. Alphonse getting involved. <laughs> <laughs> Alphonse off the bench for two. <laughs> 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 Solid stat line so far from Alphonse. <laughs> That's not sports. <laughs> I don't know. I just pressed the V. I don't. Oh wait, how about this then? Go Birds. <laughs> <laughs> that was go birds. Go birds. It's I a run. It said no bears. <laughs> <laughs> that was a man being savage. It was a li- <laughs> <laughs> revenant or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Belfast. Yes, great movie. Uh, yeah, Belfast. Well, it was, yeah, it was, a, it was the black and white movie. Yeah, it was, it's a good, it's a gorgeous movie, movie. But it's almost like it is a good movie, but it's so over the top of growing up in Ireland. It was like this, yeah. and everything was black and white, and. Mm-hmm. Um, very funny just do a whole parody on that movie i think yeah yeah that's and that would go a little something like this how's it going on <laughs> and then you smack your wife yeah exactly and then as a bomb goes off yeah. a bunch of baby parts go flying <laughs> <laughs> um it was that was like a big punchline when i was a kid was like the troubles or whatever yeah but there was a lot of bravery Mm. Uh, involved in that conflict from our side well i didn't want to say both sides i was about to say <laughs> everyone played a good game but uh, no no we do need we need an up the right we need an up the right thing so are you publicly up the right oh yeah absolutely mm-hmm. well it's more of a post-colonial ir- irony but you know it's yeah. fun to it's yeah like, it's fun to cr- criticize oh you just showed the real guy that i like well, uh, <laughs> you just that's oh, post-colonial irony and then you were like uh-oh i'm supposed to be stupid on here I, I mean, uh, <laughs> Rape? <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> He's showing who he is. You mean to see the the the, 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 the numbers are drunk, yeah. <laughs> crashing? Uh-huh. Did they need the Patreon going down? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's like yeah, yeah, yeah Black With Friday the- on, on Wall Wall Street right there, dude. Yeah, um, but that's what that is. Most of it is. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm far removed from it, so that I. Nothing about the IRA or anything like that have ever affected my life. Right. So there obviously are people from that part. Of Britain, mm-hmm. uh, uh, up in the north of Ireland. Yeah, uh, effectively. Is that a real shitty thing to say? You calling them Britain? Yeah, they hate that. Oh yeah. I, I nice. think it's not even correct. Like it's not even like physically correct. You need a passport to get in there. Uh, like if you're going from like Ireland, you need a passport as an American to get into Northern yeah, Ireland. Yeah, you, you might. There's yeah, not just an open but I, border. I, I think it's the UK. I think it's the part of the UK, not part of Britain. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I think it is. It's kind of like Wales and like Scotland or whatever. They're their own countries, but they're all part of the UK, right? Yeah. So it's Northern Ireland um, or North of Ireland, depending on Ireland, depending on who you are. Scotland, Wales, England are. Yeah. Let's the, not forget the Isle the, of Man. They're in there. They're oh, in there. Yeah. There's a couple of, couple of these God. isles. God. Uh, there's also the, the, the island of Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. Yeah, yeah. that's the, that's uh-huh. the Cayman Islands of uh, South Britain. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the Bali of Australia. Don't like just the lads go there and like destroy it like twice a year. I don't know how much they go there, but they go definitely go in the summer because it's between France right. and And they England. fuck it up. And there's no taxes. Uh-huh. So it's like, like all these people have. It's exactly like Bali. You can probably get to go there, get cheap cigarettes, cheap booze. Yes. Probably yeah. a rough hand job off also, of a look, bricklayer's it, daughter. <laughs> if you're from England and you still go to an island off England for your summer holidays, Trash. that is rough. Because I've been in Spain <laughs> yeah. with those guys. <laughs> they're, the, they're the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. You go, I've been to Ibiza, man. Uh-huh. Ibiza. Yeah, you're saying it right. Uh, of course I'm saying it right. I'm there was a, a great scumbag. show called uh, Bouncers. It was a, uh, have okay. you seen this? A reality show? No. Dude, it was on Amazon, and it was just bouncers in the shittiest parts of uh, of uh, of Britain. Yeah, and then they'd have they'd like follow like the kids who were going to the bars to take fucking quads and triples and shit. You yeah, know? yeah. And then they'd be like, "It's Lisa's sixteenth birthday. <laughs> she's gathering up the girls for a night on the town." And then she's like warming up a Magners on the windowsill. <laughs> she's like, I can't drink it when it's cold. <laughs> It hurts me teeth. <laughs> and then she talks like a pirate. 
And then like it gets an hour of like bouncers like slapping people around and like groping women. Yeah, and at the yeah. end of the night, it's like Lisa had a big night out and she's like face down in the gutter crying <laughs> yeah. and shitting. Yeah, she fucking lost the tooth. Yeah, she, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> she had a punch off with someone. <laughs> Not even like an aggressive fight. It was no. just who had the hardest punch right. competition. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even call it a gun. It's dust up. <laughs> She took home the gold again. <laughs> what a triumphant birthday. And she must go home to her husband. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah her, her 28 year old husband. England can be rough, man. Dude. Some of the parts of England are like eye open. It is like middle ages. Hello, is there yeah. anyone out there? Mm-hmm. And they're dumb as fuck. <laughs> Some of the English, I mean, genuinely, I, I don't know because, you know, the stereotypical fucking idiot American. Yeah. Like, you know, he's at a Trump rally mm-hmm. and he has a thousand guns. Mm-hmm. There's a fat Wendy's eating idiot. Right. Um, so, <laughs> oh, I hope you got that close up there on my little. Yeah. What they call that? I haven't had Wendy's in a while. <laughs> <laughs> There's one around the corner. We should go. Um, Ew. But in England, I know they're supposed to be stupid, but I've never met those people, like the, the Mississippi idiots. You haven't? I, I've never met them, no. Yeah. So I don't know those guys. But I've met the English idiots. Yeah. Who are... So dumb that they genuinely have no idea. They go, where are you from? I'm from Ireland. They're like, Where's, is that near London? And uh-huh. they go, what are you fucking... Is that near London? I swear to God, they have no idea. They have no idea. There's like... Oh, they, boy. Every now and again, they'll do a survey of like, you know, British students like writing on the map where mm-hmm. things are. And it's like... It's like Ali G. Did you ever see when Ali G did it? And of course. He, and he just has like all of Europe is Jamaica. Yes. And then North America is called like fucking weed or something. Dude, Ali G. That shit rocked my little brain. Ali G was the shit, right? He was the right? best. He was the greatest. Yeah. That guy's a genius. Yes. His ability to improvise a, just, against all odds. Yes. He, it's like, I don't like to use the word genius a lot, but Sasha Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen. Straight genius. Wife is hot too. Oh, so yeah. look, there you go. Yeah, she had cans in that movie. She did probably all the movies. Yeah. She, what's mm-hmm. her name? The ginger one? Lisa Fisher or something? I don't know. Ginger, you don't know Lisa. You don't know her name. I don't know her name. I know she was the jugged up pig in fucking Wedding Crashers. Yeah, yeah the yeah. crazy one in uh, Wedding Crashers. Yeah, yeah. Um, dude, it was funny. Like I went over to, um, I went over to first to Scotland when I was opening for Tim Dillon over there. Mm-hmm. So we went to uh, Glasgow. Tim Dillon, Glasgow. Glasgow, right? Glasgow, yeah. Yeah, so like Glasgow, I was like, I'm going to Glasgow for the first time. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> what a post-industrial hell that was. Yeah. Just a gray dour yeah. hellscape, yeah. dude. Like rough. Oh, that's, yeah, that, that yeah. is, yeah, that's like a, almost like someone just turned off the color, right? Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Just, you yeah know, it's a great way to put it. Yeah. Just yeah. gray, gray tones everywhere. Gray, every, and all the food is kind of just deep fried horseshit. Yeah, I, I love the food though over in Scotland. Well, of course. Look at you. The food's what? the same color as your skin, you ashen freak. <laughs> It's, I knew I shouldn't have done the Wendy's joke. Yeah, you, hey, man. You were sitting on that one. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You, you want to play? You were sitting on that one. It was squashed. <laughs> All right, but that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on. How this? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love the soundboard so much. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's the best. Um, but yeah, yeah dude. Scotland uh, can be gray as hell. But you got, mm-hmm. Scotland's only good, I think, in the like the Highlands. It, there's got to be like a two week window of the year where you yeah. can go and take a photo. But that, but you got to go away from. You got to go to like Edinburgh's, like a castle. I was told Edinburgh's fine. Yeah, yeah. Where we did the show with Tim was in a place called like the Gorbals or something. <laughs> and my wife's grandma's from Scotland, and I called her and I was like, "Yeah, we're doing shows over here. I've been in the Gorbals," and she's like, "Oh, <laughs> don't get that. Stay out of the Gorbals. <laughs> Whatever you do, <laughs> you don't go you to said, the Gorbals." <laughs> yeah, I should have done a spit take when you said the Gorbals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dun dun dun. I gotta go. I gotta ring my. <laughs> yeah. gotta, gotta ring Papa. But then we went from there to uh, Dublin. Oh, nice. It was night and day. Dublin mm. was the most charming place I've ever been. Yeah. It was beautiful. And like Paris, obviously, is beautiful. Rome is romantic. Blah, blah, but blah. But fucking Dublin, dude. Yeah. Dublin's like. Absolutely. People are singing in the streets, cheersing, you know, a yeah. lot of just like convivial fraternity just in the <laughs> wild. I fucking loved it, man. Yeah. The Ireland. Everyone has fun. Dublin, I, I grew up in Dublin, obviously. Um, oh, yeah, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I read obviously, the Wikipedia. You can tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you Do you have a Dublin accent or something? I um, I don't know why I said obviously. You're right. But I do have a Dublin accent, okay. but it's not as strong as it used to be. Yeah. Um, what did it used to sound like? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you need the Lucky Charms <laughs> drop right there. I don't know what that you is. What le- is that? You need the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms. Get away from me, Lucky Charms. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. Yeah, Something yeah. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't like that. 
I know you don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm reducing you to a stereotype. I wish you were some sort of race that I could criticize. (laughs) I don't don't even know what you are. Do you have like an armadillo noise? (laughs) 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 Like a panda eating a fish? (laughs) Just muzzy? (laughs) Muzzy? (laughs) (laughs) You're just a a generation removed from muzzy, dude. <laughs> they, they teach kids grammar. <laughs> Forgot about Muzzy, which now just sounds like a slur. But mm. back then, he, he was teaching generations of kids yeah, about yeah. conjunctions. <laughs> Remember Muzzy? Yeah, yeah dude, Muzzy. <laughs> Oh fuck! I'm muzzy. <laughs> That's oh shit! All right. <laughs> That's why the, you're the king. The, the <laughs> <laughs> muzzy. Um, All right. Let's let's let's. No, um, let's keep having fun. No, people, no, people know about the no, book. No, s- you won't shut the fuck up about it on here. What do you mean? I've been told by so many people how nice you've been about <laughs> championing my book. You know what? You got replaced by um on perks. Mike yeah, where's yeah, on yeah. perks? All oh, right mm-hmm. there, yeah, there. So everyone mm-hmm. by on perks by Mike Mike yeah. Mike Rainey, friend of the show. There Great you guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he signed the cover like a psycho. Did he? Yeah. 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 You look that. Do you know what you do you know what you wrote on no. this? You don't remember? Uh uh-uh. uh. It was very nice. I've signed a lot. So it's not it's not you don't this isn't real? What would what do you think if you were to sign a new book today, what would you reckon you'd write? If I signed it for you? Yeah. I'd probably say some like a uh, bit of like I bet I put a, did I put an Irish slur in there that I thought you might know? No. Remember that time I was texting you all these Irish slurs and yeah. you were like, I don't know what any of this means. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you were like blacked out on a bar somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what did I write? My favorite thing about you said, and I laughed about this today was we were in Skankfest and the, yeah. the, the booze was gone. They had ran out of booze and uh-huh. we found like a bottle of tequila. Oh yeah, somewhere hidden. Uh huh. But there was no ice, and right. and it was like only coke. Yeah. So we ended up mixing tequila and coke. Yeah. That was it. No ice. And you go, what is this? Some sort of. He goes, is this an Irish drink? And then I was like, no. He goes, what are we from Cork? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I, it was such a bizarre reference that made me yeah. laugh so much. So Sam Talent, bit of a, bit of a titular name. To name yourself that of all the things. You yeah. Do you reckon that's what's with the coincidences? Talent. Get into comedy? You think so, it was speaking into existence? I don't know, dude. We were Scots Irish. So, like, my family's been here since, like, the first dumb people came over from where you're from. Whoa. Like, in a barrel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, they were brought over because they, like, Just you a know, naked. raped a horse to death and now they had to flee. <laughs> I have a guy on a coffee ship, too, naked but wearing a barrel. Just- yeah. <laughs> People had to do that. <laughs> that was that was a rich guy. That was, that was high fashion. Oh, he could afford a barrel. <laughs> you mean the Cooper's son? <laughs> sir, sir. Uh, um, running the light, great book. Thanks, I never read. I'm not much of a book man. So tell what, us, what did I write in it? Oh shit! You said you said uh, Collie to a new friend, Sam Talent. That's lovely. Now, is that a money sign? Yeah, it's the money sign, and then the upside down cross, the S and the T. Oh, for well, Sam Talent. And is, what's an upside down cross like the sign of the devil or something? Yeah, yeah. Is mm-hmm. it? Yeah, oh. it's like a, you know, one <laughs> six, of these six, guys. Six things. Yeah, yeah. Mark of the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> so, ta- Sam, what is a book? Uh, so traditionally, books are uh, a bunch of ideas that have been bound. Get the in- fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was gonna be something. I was. I was just waiting if it was going to be something nasty or like the, the call to prayer. I think we're trying to do it. Oh, we got this guy. Look. Build that wall. Build that wall. Because yeah. I was building this wall for months. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually done. A, we're rebranding, actually. We're oh. done to change the whole place. I'm not going to try sort of a 70s vibe, basement. I think that's good. Yeah, like wood paneling. Yeah, wood paneling, uh-huh. dark boards, yellow yeah. furniture. Yeah, recessed shelves. Yeah, yeah, like that 70s. Uh, trinkets. Right, just yeah. Just random Trinkets uh-huh. that, just ephemera of a life in the late stuff 70s, that I was obviously early bought 80s. today, but you could say it's old. Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. A bunch of Philadelphia Flyers uh, that, sports cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I think it'll stand out a lot. Yeah. Um, you do you have a podcast? Uh oh, I do have a podcast. Thank you. Flip for it. <laughs> I have a podcast called Chubby Behemoth, and if you enjoy irreverent comedy like this, you'll very much enjoy mine. Chubby Behemoth. Chubby Behemoth. The problem. Uh, I would get to the H. Yeah, and, and, then, and then hopefully the internet will. So you have to when you search it, you have to go podcast chubby be, huh, and then B E H 
easy. You're really isolating the dum dums that listen to this thing. I think Behemoth is pretty easy. Do you? Yeah. No, Fonzie, off top of your head, do Behemoth. Behemoth. I can't even say the word. Don't type in it. Don't type in it. Do it. It's a fucking spelling bee, you fucking dope. Yeah, I was going to say B O, but you gave B A. So. You were going to say Bohemoth? Yeah. Oh, I Damn. said B. I said B. Because in yeah. my head, I'm pronounced like Bohemoth. Bo- like Bohemian Grove. Right. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you in on that? Are you in on Bohemian Grove, shut up, dude? Shut up. You. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's a natural. Oh no! <laughs> Never had a lesson. <laughs> I took soundboard lessons as a lad. <laughs> My, <laughs> Yo, I haven't seen one of these in years. Yeah, may I? Uh-huh. <laughs> I was tutored by Robin from the Howard Stern show. <laughs> She'd come over and put her giant breasts on my shoulder <laughs> as I type slurs into a computer. He hasn't, he hasn't played in years. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was perfect. Uh, Chubby Behemoth, uh, fucking the son of Sam killer. Mm. You know about this guy? You don't know son of Sam? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wait, did Right, he- so son of Sam, when he wrote his like scary letters to the paper to terrify New York and say it was going to be 40 years of raining blood, mm. in there when he was calling himself the son of Sam and like the risen devil, he also called himself the chubby behemoth. Because <laughs> like, he thought it would be really scary. <laughs> and, yeah, and when me and my buddy Nathan both read the the, uh, the Son of Sam book, we texted each other like days apart being like, did you see Chubby Behemoth in there? <laughs> so we named our podcast that because it's ridiculous, man. That's so fun. Yeah, he thought that he was going to strike fear into generations. Or they thought. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't believe that shit, no? man. No, there's a guy online who's like very, uh, very much debunked that whole line of thought yeah yeah i can't remember his name but he's very good on youtube and he is like, it possible that they could have been different killers but non-related but they just said just give it to this guy because it's because isn't that what they do with the atlanta monster wasn't the atlanta it monster, something yeah. pain what was his name christian pain or something i don't know he 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 definitely killed a lot of, a those, bunch kids, of those kids but yeah. i think there was other a lot of those kids were just random other people right and yeah. then they were like yeah he just did all 40 that's easy yeah. yeah yeah i think that's that makes sense to me. i would also do that i think kind of in a in a if yeah, if you were cop, in charge. If I was a yeah. cop, I'd be like, yo, yeah, yeah. that was all this guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, give that one. Get down to the tavern. Yeah, give that one to Cosby. You I killed don't care. all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> give it to Cosby. Cosby. Just give that one to Cosby. Fuck it. Yeah. It's funny if you're doing the Atlanta child murders and you're so racist that you're like, oh, yeah, it's fucking Cosby killed this one too. Because <laughs> you just think every black guy's Cosby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one black guy you know. You're like, eh, fucking Cosby over there. A couple of these Cosbys. I think yeah. if you just kept using that one long enough, it becomes a slur. For sure. Every word just becomes. Comes a slur eventually. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> I was thinking that was like when people. I was trying to think of this. This is like almost pure, pure. Yeah, no, but it's pure stoner talk, nearly. Mm-hmm. In terms of if someone's insulting you in a different language, yeah, and you don't understand it, you just go well, whatever. Yeah, whatever for fucking, sure. Whatever toe face. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, which is a slur for, huh? What is what is? I it? don't know. I just made it up. But we okay. can. We'll, I work backwards. Well, toe headed is blonde. Toe-headed is blonde, yeah, yeah. is it? So, okay, I guess yeah. sweet, some Swedish fucking... Some Swedish. Some, vi- some, some fucking beautiful, pickled herring-eating son of a bitch. Some sexy, beautiful, blue-eyed some blonde Some perfect hair. Aryan prototype. Oh, just a fallen angel. Yeah. yeah. That's what you get. Yeah, fuck you guys. Have you been to Sweden? I have. I've been to uh, Malmo. Malmo, I've been to Malmo, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right by Copenhagen. You just go over. Yeah. 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 It was crazy, dude. That bus station, the train station that you go on, it was just full of fucking whippet balloons. <laughs> was like it? Like the ground was like paved in whippet balloons. <laughs> and they were like, uh, whatever the word in Swedish for whippets was, was posted everywhere with an X through it. <laughs> those kids just would like come back from the the clubs or whatever and just blast balloons in the station. Yeah. But you, it sounds like you were just in Philly. <laughs> you know it could have been, yeah. 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 I was in this place called Malmo. Yeah, dude. It was sick, dude. Me and my wife rode bikes down to like the water and oh, nice. got in there and uh, we sat next to a late like an old Swedish woman and she was eating an apple and she was like Wushkam, kushka, I'm gone. and we were like very good and then she cut up an apple for us and handed us segments one by one <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. come on man I apologize. that's I, all right i was trying to re i was slipping down this chair yeah and, let's do um, posture i was slipping down the chair and then i, I was trying to it was like the rudest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I was trying to like fix it while you were talking. Yeah. It looked like I was about to just suffocate you. Yeah. I <laughs> Enough about yeah. this apple woman. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You get it. We went to Malmo. <laughs> I did. I had a lovely day trip in Malmo and That's rode good. bikes everywhere. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I was saying, if someone's insulting you in a foreign language, it's just a noise. Right. But then you learn like, like this noise is insult. So 
they're they're all just like you know give me an give me any language I'll I'll, I'll just pretend to speak it Farsi Farsi yeah yeah <laughs> don't even Farsi Dorsi Lorsi what is what's Farsi he's doing it what country is that I believe Farsi is uh, one of the languages speaking in the Middle East oh well, then I think it Arabic been, and Mul- Farsi Mul- might Mul- be the Mul- same thing Mul- 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 Maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not good, does no. it? No, it that sounded purposefully evil. <laughs> Bulgul? I can't do What's a Middle Eastern? What are you, the Beatles? I'm sure. <laughs> that that was only <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Master of impressions. <laughs> <laughs> but if they were insulting you in a language and it was like, it was muzzy, and you realize that, because they say muzzy a lot, and then you realize that, oh, it's a lot of thing. How long do you reckon before it starts to like get at you? Well, I think it's if they spit after they say it every time. The, no, they don't. They just go muzzy, muzzy. And yeah. if I, after a while, it's like, it's the worst thing they can yeah. call you. Yeah. It would eventually go, fuck you, dude. I don't know, dude. If you were in a situation where you were given no context or connotation, I don't know if you would ever adapt that as like a slur towards your people. You would have to have someone else tell you that was bad. No, that's what I'm saying. You, yeah. you, you, someone tells you, go, just so you know, when they say muzzy, it, right. it means me. Like, I thought that it, you were having like a stone conversation as if we were in seventh year, as you freaks call it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, actually, this is... Almost a profound conversation. It yeah. is a profound you would, conversation. You'd have to be told that it's hateful. You have to learn it, that you're hated. Yeah, but then how long before it even... Know? If someone says, hey, look, th- in this country, there's a slur that says muzzy. Right. And then you hear the first few times, they're like, oh, they keep calling me muzzy. Yeah. How, long, how many times before you go, yo, fucking stop that. Mm-hmm. I'm think not that, a fucking muzzy. I think it's when your dad or your uncle or your older brother's like, if anyone says that to you, you have to stand up for our family. So it's a generational right. muzzy. I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Muzzy, it's like it makes your mom in. cry. Yeah. Or something. Like if so you see someone else that you value being impacted by it negatively, I think that's when you step up. Oh yeah. But if it's just like your friends, like and when you, I was a kid you, and people were calling me fat, I was like, shut up, you toothless bitch. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like your dad raped your sister. Like, fucking shut up, you know? It's like you can't hurt me with words, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's so real oh dude. you just go nuclear yeah go i mean nuts. that that was I, I yeah at remember, least i have it dad i remember a kid that was named the sean had lice and he tried to call me fat and i was like you're covered in lice dude oh nice <laughs> they had to shave your head in after gym class shut the <laughs> fuck up i i do you remember the first i remember like specific specific times yeah. when people would go like yo at least i have a fucking dad Oh, someone's yeah. de- dad would be dead uh-huh. and it Classic. was like it was always like a no go area mm-hmm. and then someone one day would just be like yo you're, why are you late he's like cause your dad is dead yeah. and then everyone's was- <laughs> exactly classic dude yeah dead going, dad big I, one I had too much respect back then but now like, going back I should have been like yo you're fucking fatherless idiot yeah you have no dad yeah and that's why you're stupid I that's think what, that that would have been and your, a nuclear and your, option and your mother's a fucking slut yeah and your mom's a wee bit of a slag your mom's a bit of a slag <laughs> bit of a there, hussy out, out there yeah out there trading whole <laughs> <laughs> for she, more scoops she's swapping she's swapping gash <laughs> yeah yeah um, did you ever know any, were any prostitutes that you grew up with no not that i know of yeah i think the girl i lost my virginity to became a prostitute years later became someone told me that years that later you but turned her out i cracked her open pretty young to be honest yeah um Phew. so what <laughs> but that's an expression it's an expression <laughs> no go here go there we go this side what you Look at that big ass. Look okay. at that big yeah. ass. You were really banging it. I was trying to tap my way out of it. <laughs> then he cracked her open pretty young. <laughs> no, it's an expression. It's okay. an expression yeah. for fucking a girl while she was young. <laughs> <laughs> it's an expression for taking a, a young you. person's virginity <laughs> uh, way too early. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you for getting to the etymology of that for me. <laughs> I, just I couldn't got, understand. Got lost in translation yeah, for sure. One of those colloquialisms that didn't make it across the pond. Yo, tell us, what is crack young? What is young? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How old, how young? Hmm? <laughs> That's the classic. Huh? <laughs> what were what? we talking about? Yeah. Uh, yeah how old were you when you lost your virginity? 15. Okay. So younger than 15. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you. Whoop. Let's just say I'm 32 and she just turned 22. Oh, no, okay. No, that'd be crazy. Let's not just say that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind it. Um, no, no whores that okay. I know of. Um, no Irish whores. Yeah. A lot of probably immigrant stuff. Mm-hmm. And we had one street that was known for it, I think. But Do you guys let a lot of people in? Oh, yeah. Too much. You kidding me? Yeah. Time to build a wall. Yeah. There, there is huge fights over there in Ireland right now because all the Ukrainian and yeah. refugees are coming in. War torns. Yeah, but Ireland has like a housing crisis. So they're like, look, we've got all these homeless people, but they can't live in these houses. But if you're fucking... You know, if you're in a, in, in, a pr- in a proxy war, whatever that means, yeah, I honestly yeah. have no idea what that means. Oh, no, yeah. But I like to say it. It uh-huh. sounds smart, right? Yeah, it does. I don't know if it applies, does it? 
I think so. Yeah. What does it mean? A fake, uh, a fake a war? A proxy war is a war that you're fighting for, I believe, it's to... You're saying it's for one thing, and it's only involving Russia and Ukraine, mm. but really there are proxies for a much bigger war. So, like, uh, whoever's supporting Russia, whether it be China or the, the, the Saudi Arabia, they're not at war, but mm. they're using these, like, implements of war to a... actually wage war against the American way of life, our allies, the UN, the EU, yeah. whatever it may be. Okay. Yeah. So, is this is this a proxy it war? It sounds like it's a proxy war. because Fucking now... proxy war! Yeah, classic proxy war, everybody. I knew it! I know yeah. one when I see one. Oh, dude. I, I get, I, you know... I know two things. <laughs> All right. Yeah. If those tits have freckles on them, I'm gonna love the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, and I know a proxy yeah. war when I see one. <laughs> and I held up three fingers. <laughs> you, get, you gotta always add another one. Yeah. I know two things, and the third one I'm not so sure about. <laughs> yeah. That's a fun guy to hang out with. <laughs> the guy who like is adamant about his knowledge of two things, but then everything else he's like, oh, I don't know what the I fuck know. we're Germany, doing. Germany does that exist? Who knows? Have you ever yeah. seen it? Um. Yeah, proxy war. Everyone says I look like Zelensky. Oh, I, sure. I, yeah, I get that yeah. a lot. Why aren't you doing fucking dumb viral videos? I don't know. They keep The boys keep trying to get me to. Oh, dude, it's easy money. Are, are you joking? Because no. I think you're, you're like. No, no, no. I feel when... like you're too much of an artist to ever dress up as Zelensky. And... <laughs> dude, have you ever seen my Muzzy videos? <laughs> <laughs> years later, Muzzy, what is he doing now? Yeah. That's, the, that's what you, you should make the video of 20 years later. He's like looking back at all these old photos and stuff. Right. Yeah, that was when I went to France. I taught yeah. everyone French. This is the first apostrophe. <laughs> we did French. I put that for, in there. We did French for Irish. They, they, he taught us Irish. Oh, yeah? He taught us the Gaelic language. Oh, the yeah, The language of dude. Ireland. That's where we learned them from. You guys learned them for French, was it? Or just English? Uh, he was French and he was Spanish. Spanish also? Yeah, yeah. Muzzy, muzzy macho. Muzzy, ma muzzy macho? Yeah, yeah. Wow, because yeah. we had mu Muzzy more. More means big uh -huh. in, in Irish. Yeah. So we had you had Muzzy macho? I don't. I just remember Muzzy. I don't remember Muzzy grande or Muzzy fuerte. Grande, yes. Yeah, obviously, I never had a lesson. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. What else going on, huh? Nice watch, fake watch. No, real watch. Is it? What is it, Rolex? No, it's a bowl. Are you been hanging around Bobby Kelly? What are you doing? Smoking no. cigars now? No, I don't smoke cigars. Not yet. No. N not until fucking Rogan invites you around to fucking. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Did you if just I went do? The, you just did the club there. Did, did you? the club? Yeah. Did you do the podcast? No. No. Uh -uh. What the fuck is I wrong? Be here. What's wrong with that cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Joe <Hey>, Rogan. Rogan? <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be gone forever. <laughs> that hasn't been released yet no. because of all the horrible stuff that you said. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I was too inflammatory for Rogan. <laughs> yeah. What I said about the vaccine was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the vaccine definitely works, Rogan. <laughs> yeah. Cut it. Clip uh -huh. it. <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did that club, man. It's it's wild. It's uh, it's it's that green room is not like the most fun green room I've been in. It's not fun. Well, no, it's just like there's a lot of a lot of pressure yeah, at Rogan's yeah. club to do a very good job. Yeah, because you might be it might, it's a kingmaker situation. Yeah, you know, so like the green room, I was just like so nervous. So the it's whole not time. like anyone's working out shit really. Unless I mean, I think that Ron White and Rogan are. But like yeah. when I was there, I was like, I need to show out. Of course, you know, because yeah. like maybe I'll get touched by the hand of God. That's the worst. Me Isn't that the worst feeling? Oh, don't yeah. you think that's like horrible? Oh, I really don't like when I'm nervous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I hate that. <laughs> like after like 15 or 17 years of stand up or whatever, it's like when I'm like nervous, I'm like, it's, yeah, it's a big one. I know what's at stake. You know? Yeah. I'm like, I've always been like that with, with, with competitions and shit. Mm -hmm. Anytime it's like an official, hey, go do your best thing. Right. It kind of, it fucks you. Whereas if you go in and go, this is only casual set, you end up having the best set of your life. Oh yeah. If you're just goofing around, it's always the best. Mm. Yeah. Anytime that there's like some parameters put on, it's like, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm also hyper competitive. So that doesn't help me in those situations. Oh, you are? Oh yeah. I'm the worst. Well, you always want to do the best. You want to just be the best. Oh yeah. Just like I have this like fucking repressed jock mentality that I had for the first 18 years of my life. And now I've taken it to the arts Would and you, it's you not welcome football? here. Yeah. Football, football and wrestling. Oh, wrestling. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Did uh, was that Stanty in life? I always said if I had a son, I'm, I'm gonna force him to be a wrestler. Don't do that. Get in there. Get oh. cauliflower air. Fucking lose weight, you fuck. Dude, wrestling parents are the worst. Are they? Well, yeah. I'm not a wrestler, so I don't. I'd just be like hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> like make them do like a an caber oil. toss or whatever. You know. Yeah, barrel roll. Yeah, for barrel sure. roll. Yeah, we yeah, could do yeah. that. Uh -huh. How toss, many fish heads can you swallow? Yeah, toss the Irish game. Toss the easy single. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know if you uh -huh. have the easy single. Lighting single. a wet cigarette. <laughs> 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 yeah. I can teach. I can teach. I can teach my son to light a cigarette without a lighter for sure. Yeah. All right. First, here's the thing with a toaster: you don't have to inhale for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the science is, but that's a fact. Did you know that with a toaster, you don't have to inhale? 
<laughs> Did you guys know that? If you if you light a cigarette from a toaster, yeah. you don't have to breathe in. You you just lean the top of it against you push it, it in there, and it just lights up. Yeah, but why? It's the same it, as like when we have like the coil like stove here. That's how we used to light them. But what what's the science behind that? Well, it's the same thing as a toaster. You just have like a you have a heated up piece of metal. But why don't I have to inhale the fucking thing? I don't know. Because why do question. I have to inhale with a light? I don't know. Light a cigarette if you just hold it there long enough, it'll start. Oh, you can, itself. yeah, yeah. Oh, because that paper is like meant to burn now, it always okay, it burns forever. This like is a car cigarette lighter, too. just be yeah, pretty yeah. sick. I, I once met a, there's a guy, I don't know if you ever heard of him called Blind Boy. Did you ever hear of Blind Boy? It's a rapper, yeah, actually, is yeah, it? yeah. Uh, okay, it's like an ironic rapper. Um, him and his, his buddy became famous in Ireland for like prank phone calls. How hard it? is that? Uh, How hard is it to become famous in Ireland? Oh, it's not. You know, yeah. you're just you're just a guy who has the biggest sheep. You know? Exactly. <laughs> you're like a kid with like an eight and a half size hat. Yeah. <laughs> like, congratulations, you're the mayor. <laughs> Two watches, huh? Whoa, yeah. Johnny. Two watches. Yeah. <laughs> he runs for president. Uh -huh. He loses to that guy's dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, but so that guy. Uh, but I met him at a comedy festival one time, and. He needed to open a bottle of something, oh, and yeah. I I can do the thing with Me the too. lighter. Yeah. And then when I showed him, and he and then he because he's super smart, he's like a professor. He's like this weird professor, but he only wears a plastic bag over his head. I swear okay. to God, this is sounds like I'm making shit up. No, I understand he's one of the Irish most, culture. A little one of the bit. most <laughs> famous guys in Ireland. His name is um, Blind Boy Boat Club. Okay. He, he doesn't go by Boat Club really anymore, and he has yeah. the biggest podcast, and it's a very and he won't have me on. He's a very phil philosophical guy. Oh shit! And he's a professor, and he's like, you know, he, he he's a champion for like mental health yeah, causes. Yeah, look, looks like it. It's so f I swear to God, it's the funniest juxtaposition <laughs> of anyone ever. And they're like, why don't you take the mask off? Because he's, he's like, I don't want people to annoy me while I'm at the store. You okay, know? that makes so, sense. But they did that originally as a joke because they would do prank calls and they didn't want people to find out about them. All this type of shit. So a guy who did prank calls is now one of the modern day philosophers I of the country. I swear you're from? to God, yeah. Wow, yeah. But he also <laughs> is. He's too smart for his own good. You know, like he's Been one of there. these troubled guy. But when I popped the bottle for him, then he explained back the science behind force or something. Like he broke down the physics behind my finger going down with yeah. the lighter, popping the thing. Because there's was, a lever involved. Yeah, I was like, yeah. yo, this is like scumbag science. Yeah. This is what we need to pitch. To. It's like, yo, Bro. we explain why sometimes bubbles get into your needles or whatever. And they, we explain. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And you should do that as Zelensky. I should do it as Zelensky. Yeah. And I'll teach people how to light cigarettes off a toaster yeah. and explain what the... Uh huh. Ex explain the, the transfer song. of heat into a. There's a couple uh, of things like that. Yeah. Dude, uh, yeah. I mean, you just had two very good ideas that you're not going to do anything with. No, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. I'm, that's that's my role. Scumbag science is a great idea. Scumbag science is great, and this is one of those ideas that I'll pitch to the guys and go, "Yo, get on it." And then mm -hmm. in, in four years from now, I'll go, "What if I'm the scumbag science?" Yeah. And they go, "Oh yeah, yeah, we're working on it." Uh huh. It's like the new studio that we're building. We've been working on it forever. It looks, it's beautiful. Do wait until I get to the '70s couch. I cannot wait. Yeah, yeah. the shag carpet's going to be so original in here. Yes, shag yeah. carpet. Uh, some sort of a vending machine that didn't exist in the 70s. Uh -huh, RC Cola. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. What What the fuck was I going to ask you? No, please, do. Well, it's just so much fun to talk <laughs> to someone from somewhere else. Oh, yeah? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, this is one of the most valuable conversations you can have with someone is... Learning about their crazy culture? Well, no. It's just like I grew up like... You know, America, the American yeah, experience monkey, is right? like fucking scooping stuff from everything you like, you know? Scoops. Kind of, yeah. yeah, scoops. That's a fun thing to say. It is. Oh, oh fuck. Never mind. I don't remember. No, whatever. Sorry. So, so where else are you traveling then coming up? Uh, I'll be Comedy Works April 13th in Denver, Colorado. Ooh. My home club. Nice. It might be sold out already, but try and get tickets there. Oh, so Philadelphia bad. Helium. Yay! Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. The April nineteenth, and beef. then Houston Secret Group, and then Lafayette Comedy. And then I'm going to Ecuador for a month. Oh, just travel? No, my wife's gonna work there, and I'm gonna live there and try and grow my Spanish, my conversational Spanish. Mucho bueno. Um, Muzz, I mean, I didn't. I've never even met Muzz. You didn't have Muzz. You were like no. Gaelic. Muzz. So you could talk to the sirens and the banshees. <laughs> <laughs> so you can warn away the spirits. Yeah, yeah. So you can know when a boat was approaching the shore. <laughs> So you can make it through graveyards without being cursed. <laughs> what a stupid yeah. fucking language you guys have. <laughs> so, so I can say a prayer. Totally worthless. Yeah. So I can say a prayer if I saw a redheaded child. 
<laughs> yes, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for some reason you had a kid and it was switched with some kind of little fairy baby. <laughs> you guys believe in that shit, right? <laughs> I don't believe it, but they do. Yeah. There, is, there are, um, I don't know if it's still true, but there's certainly fishermen. Yeah. And if you see a redheaded child before you're about to go to sea, you, you, you don't, don't go. go. No. Which, which. Sounds like something a uh, <laughs> sounds Australian. It sounds like just a hungover man made up one day because he's like every day I see a redheaded child. Yeah. He's like, I live I'm not in go- Ireland. He like rang his boss. He's like, I can't go. I know I can't. I saw a redheaded child. He goes again. Yeah, every uh, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I have to take the day off, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's as if every time Celtic is in town and you go to the game, yeah. there's a redheaded child the next day. Well, you probably have a lot. Do you guys bless yourself if you see an ambulance or you pass a church? No. In Ireland. I so grew up without any religion, though. No? That's yeah. crazy. That's bad. Yeah. That's nuts. Uh-huh. I, I, think, I think a little bit of religion, even if you don't follow, is good. Yeah, but you do think that. You're from Ireland. No. <laughs> you I, fear the wrath of God. No, no. I just, <laughs> yeah. I've, 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 I grew up with some people who are non-religious, and they're always like fucking artsy, farty yeah. bitches. Yeah, fat Wendy's eating bitches. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. It's as if I have to create my own moral code. <laughs> it's crazy how I have to live because I know it's the correct thing to do and not I'm going to get rewarded by No, heaven. it's not that. It's just, 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 you need a little bit of just... Yeah, you need fear. To tone it down. Yeah, man. irrationality yeah. and superstition. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't fucking... Bleach your hair, you fucking weirdo. I already did. I know you did. Yeah. Yeah, every every <laughs> godless <laughs> sinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. Um, every blood tongue savage. But we do that. If you cross, if it pass a graveyard, people dress themselves, bless themselves. If they pass it, mm-hmm. uh, church or an ambulance goes by, they bless themselves. Yeah, it's kind of like a. Well, thing. I think that's a nice thing to do because you're thinking of the person who's impacted by the ambulance. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a nice thing to do. So you know, take it on board. You know, learn a little bit more. No, 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 no. No, I asked you about scoops. We talked about the commitments. I've checked all the boxes <laughs> I needed to. <laughs> oh, I looked at that. Was, that, was, that was a good time. Huh? Oh, my Sounds God. Out. What fun. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's like we're meant to be. Well, we have, we have a good vibe. We do, man. We, yeah. we have ripped it up at Skyfest. That was a lot of fun. We had a nice time. Yeah, we really You became... going to the next one? Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm not allowed to announce it, though. What? We're not allowed to announce it. It's, not, it's unreleased yet. Oh, I won't be there then. Oh, yeah. Me neither. Yeah. But I am, going to a, I am going to a... Comedy festival in Vegas. Yeah. The exact same dates as Skankfest. Right. I cannot announce what yeah. it is, though. It does say Las Vegas TBA that weekend on my website. It does it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, li- I posted literally Skankfest, and then <laughs> and Lewis hit me up going, yo, we haven't announced the lineups yet. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm not shifting tickets. Uh-huh. First of all, I already thought it was sold out. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. And also... It, if it, I'm making a dent, you need to pay me more, because that's... <laughs> have you noticed, though, that... Allegedly, I don't know as I'm not doing Skankfest, but there's a bit more money involved this year. Yeah, from yeah, I thought I was told it was just me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess everyone. Yeah, well, but me and you are climbing up, dude. Are you kidding me? I know, dude. You, things come are on, changing. Come on, baby. You did Rogan's Club. I did, yeah. I'll be in Austin too, uh, like the 10th, 11th, 12th, doing some sets down there. Oh, unless you come back down just to hang out, Chris yeah, Crush, yeah. just mm-hmm. to do the. I might head down. Just a crush to show them a couple of my Calm down, dude. very low hanging fruit jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, really make a dent. Yeah. Have all my idols hate me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny to have Chappelle walk up and go, heck! <laughs> when I was there, Chappelle was there. So, like, security was crazy. Yeah, oh my gosh. Luckily, Ron White and Adam Eagett were there. Yeah. So, like, I could, I, Ron White I've known forever. We were goofing around. Adam Eagett's like one of the funniest guys alive. Yeah. So like that green room was like very hectic, but it was like still a little bit of goofing and gabbing with the boys, you know. Yeah, because his security are like fucking. They think they're special forces. They're like Mossad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, they worked for Weinstein before. (laughs) (laughs) But they clash. There's a lot of because the security guys at clubs have their own security, and then these guys come in and start telling those guys what to do, Mm -hmm. and it's just big fucking big black man about to egos blasting. Big black man about to bust off. Yeah, yeah. And you're not. Mm-hmm. You know how it is. I know, but it's you're a, like this, and I'm like just I'm, eye level. You're, you're yeah. just looking at these little black men. Yeah, yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> um, sick. Thank you so much, man. I had a lot of fun. Obviously, check him out on the road. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is it's very disrespectful. I started using it as a no. It's okay. Coaster. <laughs> it's an object of your Sam life. Sam Talon running yeah, yeah. the light. We yeah. plugged it so much. I, I, know you I did. will read it one day. I'm, I'm 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 getting English lessons. Hey, can you give a shout out to my boy Boston real quick? Oh, yo, shout out yeah. to Boston. Boston check- Deer, what's up? Yo, what's up, Colorado homie? Yeah, yeah, he loves you. Oh, yeah, if I ever come out to Colorado, hit me up. Dude, he wants you to come out to Colorado. I want to go, too. He's always like, like, didn't every, we talk about it? Yeah, every club. Did you ever I, figure it out? No, every club I've talked to is just like, yo, we're booked up for a while. Got to this. I got to circle back to someone. Yeah, yeah. The other person we'll I text, that the other person I text just never got back to me, which is fair. We'll figure it out. Which is fair. 
No, no, no. Text is a very impolite thing. <laughs> yeah. think it's, it's like, fuck you. I'd rather you. <laughs> I'll set it up. We'll sell at least two tickets to Boston. Let's just do a Katarina. little tour. Let me just open for you. Do whatever. In Colorado? I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, going what's on. going on here? I'll go to Ecuador. Let's, <laughs> Let's go to Ecuador. Let's go to Ecuador, man. In fucking Peta- fucking Lima or something. Yeah, we'll eat some fucking hedgehogs. <sighs> that brings me back. Yeah. Um, to your 16th right. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted. That was my cake. Thank right. you, everybody. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Up the raw. We wave goodbye here.